my name is Hayden. I'm Hayden, and today in this video is a really special video because I'm in Indianapolis, and I'm at Indianapolis for. Are you ready? Gen Con 2010, baby, and it's one of the most biggest gaming conventions in in America. Let's go inside and see what we can find. As you can see, I am at the Out of the Box booth, and here I am with Leah. Leah, what games have you got coming new? We have a lot of new games here for Gen Con. Uh, Pirate vs. Pirate is definitely the newest one. We actually picked this up on our way here from the boat, from China. Um, so it's totally brand new and won't even be in stores until next week. And I know you love Ninja vs. Ninja, so I'm really excited to get this one in your hands and, and see what you think about it. We also have 10 Days in the Americas, um, which is also brand new, just got it in last month. And this is the next one in our 10 Days series. Um, so we've got Europe, Asia, Africa, USA, and then now we'll have Americas too. And for free, you can download off our website rules on how to put all the games together and do a 20 days in the world. Thank you. As you can see, I am at the Asmo Day booth at Gen Con. As you can see, I am at Stefan. Stefan, what? Stefan, what country are you from? I know, I know I'm living in Canada. Sweet. Um, Stefan, I heard you won an award. A big reward. Yeah, we won the biggest, uh, it's like the Oscar for the board games. Uh, Dixit won the uh, Spiel des Jahres, Game of the Year in Germany. And one other of the games, uh, Identic, just uh, make uh, the finals for the, the same competition. And uh, it's, it's a very big uh, surprise for us, a very good, nice thing to have uh, with us. We are really proud of Dixit, and we just want to keep it going on with it. What, ha what games have you got coming out? Uh, in, the next, in the near future, we will have two games uh, coming out. We will have Seven Wonders. We, have, we are playing uh, Prototype right now at the moment. Uh, this is from uh, Rapaz Prediction. Uh, it's a kind of draft game. Uh, it will, it's the first time we bring it uh, in the US. So we, uh, it will be available uh, at Essen in October. Same time in Germany, same time in the uh, US. So very, very good game for uh, if you like kind of card games with uh, civilization style kind of game. You have to build things. You have to, sh uh, tr you try to, uh, to share your resource with other players. You try to avoid being cut by the other players also so and the other game is uh, more a party game uh, Tadam from Frappas Production also uh, this one is uh, actually a drawing game where you have to do something on one side you don't show it to the other person other person have to, sh uh, to draw another thing and after that we show it both sides, and we trying to uh, make all the other players to find what is on the uh, the thing, on the uh, on the sheet. Thanks, Stefan. It's a pleasure. My favorite game at Gen Con is Dust Tactics, and as you can see, I'm here th with the designer Paolo. Paolo, can you tell us about Dust Tactics? Yeah, Dust Tactics is like my dream game. I've been working f on Dust like for the last ten years. And uh, finally, we got a chance to publish with Fantasy Flight Games, who's the best company around. And, you know, it's a very simple, fast, enjoyable game. It's a game that you can start after a long day of work and you're exhausted, still want to play. And, you know, it's very accessible. Everything is ready in the box for you to enjoy the, 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 the experience. And there's more expansion coming in the pipeline to add even more flavor, more units, and more fun. What is the theme? The theme is, is simple. We have a weird take on World War II. So we imagine that Germans, at a certain point of the war, find alien technology, and we, they start building ma war machines that look and function like those they found from the aliens. And 
everybody then starts to develop this kind of technology, you know, through counter espionage. Everybody gets their ends on, on the, these Macs, and the war kind of stops where everybody is like developing new weaponry, and we have like special operations going on, you know, trying to steal and hide new secrets, new weapons, new things. And that's where the game is set. Actually, this, is, uh, this game tells through eight scenarios, a campaign that goes on in Antarctica where US Special Forces are attacking a secret German base and they want to steal and sabotage the secrets within. Thanks, Paolo. As you can see, I am at the far side Gen Con booth. And as you can see, I have got Justin here. Justin, what games have you got that are coming out new? New? Well, new stuff we've got. We are working on an expansion to Castle Panic. And there's a second game coming out, but I can't talk too much about that yet. It's still being tested. Sweet. Castle Panic is one of my favorite games. And, and where can people find out more about Justin, your more, website. More about us? Well, our website is www.firesidegames.com. We've got extra rules you can download. We've got lots of pictures. I write a blog where I'll be talking about cool things like this, where I get to do interviews, all sorts of good stuff. So yes, go to our website and you can learn a lot more. Thanks, Justin. You bet, thank you guys. Now here I am at Z-Run Games with Zev. Zev, what games have you got are coming out new? Oh, Hayden, we got a lot of games coming out this year. Uh, a couple of the games we're excited about are Roadkill Rally, uh, game Earth Reborn. Uh, we're hoping to get out another one called Merchants and Marauders. That's just uh, a few of about the 20 or so games we got between now and the end of the year. Sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Zev. Oh, my pleasure. I hope you're enjoying the show. Now I'm at the Days of Wonder booth with Mark Kaufman. And this is one of my favorite board game companies. Mark Hoffman, I'm going to ask you some questions. What, how old is your company? Well, the company was started eight years ago, so in 2002. Sweet. What games are coming out new? So we have some new games coming out. We just came out this year with Mystery Express, which is uh, like Clue, only it's on the uh, Orient Express train in Europe. So it's kind of a fun game where you try and figure out who done it and what murder weapon they used and what room they did it in. So that's one of our new games. And then we have um, some new Small World games. You know Small World, right? So we have some expansions for that. One was is called Tales and Legends. So it's like event cards that you play and add to the game and it changes how you play every turn. So that's uh, for Small World. And then I'm going to give you a scoop. We have a new expansion for Small World that's going to come out right before Christmas and it's going to be called Necromancer Island. Mmm, that sounds cool. Thanks, Mark. You're welcome. Thanks, Hayden. As you can see, I am at the North Star Games booth at Gen Con. As you can see, I have got Luke Warren here. Luke Warren, what games have you got coming out? Well, our new game this year is a family version of our hit party game, Wits and Wagers. It is, uh, surprisingly enough, called Wits and Wagers Family. Uh, it's, a, it's a simplified version of the game. Many people think it's actually better. Uh, it's uh, essentially trivia for people who don't know stuff, but the questions are more aimed at kids. And uh, everyone writes down an answer, and then you uh, place your meeples on the answer you think is closest without going over, and then you get points if you bet correctly. Uh, so it's a much simplified scoring system. plays faster, you get more questions. And the fun part of the game is really, you know, betting on other people's answers and trying to, you know, uh, guess correctly. So uh, it kind of boils the game down to its core elements. And, uh, yeah, we're very pleased with it. It's doing real well, getting a lot of good reception here. Is there some place where people can learn about um, your company? Well, uh, the first place is, um, you know, northstargames.com. Uh, and that will, you know, pretty much uh, tell you, you know, what our company's doing, what's new, what the games are. Uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, for those of you uh, and who are probably watching this, a lot of you are on the Board Game Geek. Obviously, we have a, a geek page, um, North Star Games, uh, so uh, and publisher. Uh, so you can find out, you know, links to all of our games there with reviews and so on and so forth. Thanks, Luke. Thank you. 
Welcome back to Games of Hayden. As you can see, I am at Mayday Games booth at Gen Con. And here's Seth Hyatt. Seth Hyatt, what have you got new that's coming out? Uh, we've got a lot of new things coming out. We've got this Crokinole board that just came out. It's going to be shipping in a few weeks. And uh, you just spent some time playing that with my kids, right? And uh, we also have a few other games. Haygoth Builder Ships has been out for a few months. We've got a few new ones coming out, too. We've got a Queen's, uh, King's Vineyard is a, a new one that we have coming out shortly. And uh, we got a few other new ones in the, in the works. we got some new products, too, and uh, it's going really well. So we're glad to have you guys here. It's great to see you out here, Hayden. Do you like playing games with your family? I do. I really like playing with games with my family. So much, in fact, that I brought a lot of them with me this time. My youngest son, your age, couldn't make it, but my other two kids are here with me helping work the booth. So there's Chase, who's right here. Here's my wife right here. She's working the booth right now. And Chase is over here. Come here, Chase. Chase taught you to play Crokinole, didn't he? Did he teach you to play Crokinole? Oh, yeah? And this is Chase. Hello. He's my nine-year-old. He's nine. And then my daughter, Abby, who is 12, is also here helping. They're trying to uh, trick people into buying stuff all weekend. As you can see, I am at the Minion Games Gen Con booth. And as you can see, I have got James here. James, what games have you got coming out that are new? Oh, we got four new games here at the show today. And uh, one of them is our pesky humans. It's about a dungeon crawl that's a reverse dungeon crawl where you play as the monster character and uh, the other guy plays as a human character and you set up your dungeon all by uh, laying out different multi-sided tiles like this one here and you pick uh, different special abilities and you have card decks to help you cast in creatures to fight off against the humans. The humans are running in to try to ransack your dungeon and run off with uh, three of your uh, mystical gems and they got to get out alive before uh, the game's over. Uh, it's a lot of great humor and awesome art on it so that's an excellent uh, intro to uh, dungeon crawling and it's meant to be kept quick and not a miniature battle so it's a 90 minute gameplay. Um, we also have our card game called Nile it's over there on the pedestal, but uh, that game is uh, geared towards more of the Euro gamers, uh, people that uh, like harvesting fields. Uh, it's a harvesting fields in the Nile, uh, set collection game, a lot like uh, a mixture of Bonanza and Tiger Sofridis. Uh We also have several other card games on the back here. Sturgeon is our uh, card game about fish eat fish, uh, another backstabbing game of steal the other person's fish. Uh, ISS is a game that was uh, out a long time ago, but has come back uh, to be part of our party, uh, launching space modules into space. And the one over here behind me is uh, called Legitimacy. It's a, for a little bit younger cow group. It's a, it's a roll and move game. You get to run around and collect different quests and, and uh, monsters to help you along those quests. And it's real pretty. Again, our artist is an excellent uh, comic book artist who's helped us with all of our games. So those are four great new games that we're just releasing right now. We got more in the, uh, the pipeline, but uh, we're making our debut here at Gen Con. And, and, it's great to have you guys come out and say hi to us. Where can they find out more about your company? Well, that would be on the internet, I suppose. Uh, MinionGames.com would uh, give you a whole bunch of information. Um, but we're also available through regular distribution, so all your game stores in your area should carry our products. Just go in and ask them to get some Minion Games products in. Thanks. Hey, thank you. That's all we have from Gen Con. If you want to check us out, you can check us out at www.gamesahayden.com. Till next time, I'm Hayden Teeter.